So today we're going to be comparing photosynthesis and cell respiration, two reactions that happen in cells. Photosynthesis happens in plant cells. So first we're going to start by looking at the inputs and the outputs of photosynthesis. Inputs can also be called reactants. Outputs can also be called products. This is basically what goes in to a reaction. This is what comes out. So for photosynthesis, we have three inputs, three reactants. You probably can think about this in terms of some things that plants need. So plants need three big things. They need water. They need carbon dioxide. And they need the sun, a form of energy. And then they mix these three together and produce two products that come out of the reaction. It produces oxygen, and it produces food in the form of glucose. <clears throat> now you can write this out in terms of symbols instead of in terms of words. Water, as you know, is H2O. Carbon dioxide is CO2. I'm just going to use the sun, the picture of the sun. Oxygen is O2, and the symbol for glucose is C6. H12O6. This, this reaction requires a catalyst, and that catalyst is called chlorophyll. It's the, plant, the pigment and found in plant cells that makes the plants green. We can write that on both of the arrows. And when you look at these equations, they're really not balanced, because if you look here, we have six carbons, 12 hydrogens, six oxygens. We don't have that same number of carbons, hydrogens, and oxygens on the side. So if you really wanted to make this a balanced equation, you actually would have to start with six molecules of water, six molecules of carbon dioxide, and you would end up with six molecules of oxygen and just one molecule of glucose. Now we can compare that to cellular respiration. If you flip this page over to the other side. Again, we have inputs and we have outputs. Inputs, again, are the reactants. Outputs are the products. And if you look here, for cellular respiration, it's kind of like the opposite of photosynthesis. So what happens here is that we start with oxygen and glucose, and we produce three things. We produce carbon dioxide, We produce a little bit of water. It's usually given off as water vapor. This is why when you take a mirror and hold it up to your breath and breathe on the mirror, it leaves a film, it leaves um, steam on the mirror. And then we also make energy. And the form of energy that we make is an energy currency molecule called ATP. So if you wanted to, you can write this in terms of symbols. Again, oxygen is O2, glucose C6, H12O6 carbon dioxide CO2, water H2O, and we will just leave ATP for energy. We can balance this equation just like we balance the photosynthesis equation by putting sixes. Oops, that's a mistake. I shouldn't have put a six right there. Let's delete that one. Six oxygens, six carbon dioxides. Thank God for white out. Six oxygens, six carbon dioxides. Um, and six waters in order to produce the energy that ends up being a product of cellular respiration. Now for cellular respiration, you can talk about it in terms of it being anaerobic or aerobic. There's a couple different steps that go into cellular respiration. If it's an anaerobic part of cellular respiration, it happens without oxygen. It's like the first step of cellular respiration, and you'll make a lot less of these energy molecules if you don't have oxygen. And then aerobic means with oxygen. So this is this whole process can happen in this way, and you end up with a lot more ATP, a lot more energy molecules in the presence of oxygen. Now if we look at the other side, we can see how this is kind of like a balanced reaction. So what happens here is that in a marine or some kind of aquatic environment, these fish would take in this oxygen molecule. They would be breathing out carbon dioxide, 
But what actually happens is that this plant would be overall net breathing in this carbon dioxide and overall breathing out this oxygen. And so it's this constant cycle of these molecules that allow these two processes to kind of exist in a balance. So when we think about photosynthesis, photosynthesis, photo literally means light, and synthesis means to put together. So in this case, plants are literally putting together food molecules using light, and cellular respiration would be the process by which all cells use those food molecules in order to produce energy. So that's the overall equations of photosynthesis and cellular respiration. If you look back at our equations, you could see that if we compare the inputs and outputs of cellular respiration to the inputs and outputs of photosynthesis, I know it's upside down, but if you compare it over here, inputs of photosynthesis, water, carbon dioxide, and sun, here are the outputs of cellular respiration, carbon dioxide, water, and a form of energy, and then the reverse inputs, oxygen and glucose, over here we have outputs, oxygen, oxygen and glucose. So they are kind of like reverse equations.